All right, the next piece in the multiplication bundle is an activity called clothesline math. Um, and the way this works is, uh, suppose you have these different cards, you would cut them out at the dotted lines. And if you had a group of four students, I would say have eight of these cards. So enough that each kid goes twice. Uh, be careful, you can give groups too many cards when it takes too long or you end up making a number line from these then the number line gets very large. Um, but what'll, what'll happen is kids will take these cards and leave them all in a stack and give them to one of the kid, one of the students in the group. That kid takes the card off the top and says, let's say it's five times nine. They'll say five times nine is 45 and they'll put it down on the floor or on a desk. The next kid will say five times one or one times five is five and they'll put that you know, to the left or less than 45. And the next student will take the deck and they'll say eight times zero is zero and they'll put that you know, to the left of one times five. And you'll end up building this number line as the deck is passed around and hopefully promoting very good conversation within the group. Um, I would just be careful, make sure you demonstrate this for kids and the process because what they will do is if you give a group of students a deck of uh, pieces of paper or deck of cards here, right? They will split them up and try and finish the task as quickly as possible. Make sure they go through the deck one after the other passing the deck around. Now these two links, the first one will take you to multiplication cards. You can cut, um, you can make a copy of this and you can add your own if you want to, or right, if you want to work on specific facts or a group of facts. The second link will take you to uh, a bunch of clothesline cards that were created for uh, across the grade level. So you'll see everything from uh, elementary, kindergarten, all the way up through high school. All right.